here comes the sun. Yo, Snapchat, epic day ahead, so I've got to like make this a short one. Um, let's talk about what I did yesterday. So yesterday I did a four hour futurist workshop as part of a consulting gig. It was epic. So my consulting work is how I can spend so much time on the beach every day. Um, but usually it's like SEO and websites and prototypes and programming and stuff that's like not that really interesting. But see, most companies are trying to fix problems like, oh shit, we don't have a mobile website yet, or like, oh shit, how do we get to the top of Google because we haven't got enough business. They're, they're, they're thinking about the near term, the, you know, current problem. But if you can find a company that's actually interested in like, what's next, what's coming next, what's going to disrupt them, and then how can they be the disruptors rather than them getting disrupted, that's epic. Futurist consultant. And so that's my ultimate paid work, basically sitting around with a group of people, um, kind of really diving into their, their current problems and where they're planning on going, and then introducing them to all these crazy new technologies. And that's what I did yesterday, it was so much fun! Oh man, like, okay, so, some of these people that I introduced, I, like, introducing VR for the first time, like, you can see their faces light up and their eyes go, whoa. And it was actually a fairly structured thing, so I took, um, Google Ventures has a sprint model, a five-day sprint, so I took that basic concept and some of the exercises and, like, post-it note things and whiteboard stuff they do, and combined that with Singularity U. We went through and really understood their problems and kind of like uh, sketched it all out so everyone's on the same page. Um, and then I introduced them to uh, Peter Diamandis' talk about exponential thinking, that's all, always good. Then just like introducing them to a bunch of different topics that are kind of somewhat related to their industry. So, you know, just going through like every single topic, like wearables, VR, like everything. It was so much fun. And so it is a bit worrying that um, a lot of people don't, aren't even aware that these technologies are out now. Like technologies are out now and technologies are coming out in like one or two years. They don't know about it, that's weird. That possibly comes back to the whole siloed thing I talk about. Um, people are very much siloed in their industries. Um, they're just, you know, heads down, doing their job day to day, their 40 hour work week. They don't think of anything else outside of that. But if you note across the entire technology landscape, like everything that's out, everything that's available, all the trends, what's happening in, you know, what's coming out next year, what's coming out in five years, what's, what's happening in 10, 20 years, then you're not gonna be able to make those connections in your mind between your current problems in your current organization and what te technology is out there to solve that and potential disruptors that could, you know, destroy your business. But on the positive side of this, it was really awesome to see that once I introduced a brand new technology, the ideas were just flowing like crazy. People really understood it and really grasped onto that technology. So yesterday, one in particular was like the HTC Vive. Um, have you seen that Steam powered? Uh, if you look up like Valve Steam HTC Vive demo, I guess, they give you a good little three minute video of all the stuff. And then at one point, the coolest thing happened. So I introduced like chatbots, like the Facebook Messenger platform. And then on the fly, I was like, oh shit, um, fucking Amazon Echo. Like, so I, look, I pulled that up and that was epic. And once they understood what Amazon Echo was, you could actually talk to it, almost like a Jarvis AI, they immediately grasped onto it and understood the value of conversational UI and had all these ideas. And since Echo has its own developer API, you can actually build whatever you can imagine on it. So immediately around the boardroom, everyone was thinking of all these ideas that were relevant to their business. So imagine a bunch of middle-aged, non-technical people sitting around a boardroom, saying phrases, like making up phrases like, Alexa, do this, Alexa, do that, and getting really excited about what the use of this technology could enable. How awesome is that? What, what are these things? Hello. What? I just, I just want to, just, I just want to say hello. So to summarize, um, people aren't aware of all the available technologies out there and what's coming on the horizon, like in the next couple of years. But when they do find out and they apply it to their own work and lives, they get super excited.